UFC heavyweight division collision. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where right. most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, <laughs> and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters with similar height and some differences in reach. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now! This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting! In the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 238 pounds, fighting out of Tokyo, Japan, Pistol. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Digging kick. Got clipped with the right hand. Oh, big shot land. Try to establish that jab. 
Oh, a little single collar tie there. Punch coming, it's blocked. The Korean Superboy gets tattooed by that straight punch. Oh, big stick up top. That's another one. He loaded up there on that high kick. Knee to the body. All right, so once again, the fighters engage in the clinch. We'll see who will have the upper hand here, champ. There are so many options to dictate and control this exact position. Who is going to take advantage of it? Man, these knees are really starting to do a lot of damage to his opponent here tonight. And there's another one for good measure. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. <laughs> that knee might have landed there. Oh, combination of knees. That is not what he is looking for. He better raise that guard quick. He better raise that guard or he's going to fall asleep. You cannot allow someone to knee you in the head. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. And there comes the separation now. Beautiful kick. Oh, single collar tie here. The left punch is true. Now the right hand. Slips to avoid the right. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offer it there. Cable inches right there, boys. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, wow. Huge head kick. Beautiful strike. Oh, do you believe it? Another head kick lands. Got to start raising that guard or this is going to be the end of the fight. I mean, it's going to be the end of the fight. It's very surprising that he's even standing upright after taking such a bad shot. Look at him drive his shin into the whole body with that body. That's a big elbow. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Can't take many of those, you better check. Beautiful leg kick throw. Oh! Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Well, still plenty of time to go here in round one, but maybe to the surprise of his opponent, he has come out so aggressive here tonight, he has landed a ton of strikes here early and gotten off to a nice start. Oh, big elbow. Oh, just misses with the kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Battle for position here. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Finds a home for the left hand there. Kick to the body by the Korean Super Bowl. Nice punch there. Choi's knee to the body. That one blocked by the opponent. Distance gets the single hollow tie. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his structure. Shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. 
Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. What a punch. Ooh, head kick lands is hurt. Hard shots landing on both sides here. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Liver kick. Joy gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Ah. Elbow. Ah. Just over three minutes to go. Joy gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Oh, collar tie. Right under the elbow, the body keep landing. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two? Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. And they separate. Over and over, he's landing a big body. Back and forth we go here. He missed with that jab attempt there. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Good punch lands. Joy gets stung by that leg kick. Just missed with the left there. All right, single collar tie now. Right hand punch. Oh, coming. big knee! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Straight right hand now, just misses. Caught that. Now there's danger in that too, because when you start reaching out to catch that kick, here comes the high kick, and then you're in a lot of trouble. Some nice back and forth action here. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. What a tricky head kick. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. He blocks the shot. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Ten minutes in the books. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting over and over to the head, 
Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. It's such a fast leg kick. Oh, nice punch there by Joy. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. There's no give on that leg kick. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. It's broken, I think. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. I mean, he's cutting it out of size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, here's a kick to the body, blocked though by the Korean Super Bowl. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Elbow by Choi. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Lands with the kick there. No pad on that foot. No shit guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws. All right, so a knockdown for him in the previous round, and you can just see by his body language how confident he is in the striking realm in this matchup. And you can see his confidence in his posture. Also, you can see the effect the knockdown had on his opponent by the way he is a person. Visibly limping here. Big punch lands through the middle. He lands a big knee to the body. Oh, and he caught the kick. to these big leg kicks. Choi's punch to the body there, doesn't get there. Nice job by the defense to block the shot. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. We have just reached the midway point of the fight. Oh, looks like he's transitioning on bar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jujitsu guys. Gotta be careful, Armbar. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off and you gotta cover. You can't be off to an angle. Absolutely, he finishes his opponent by way of submission. Right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year. Near perfect execution tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee Eve Levine has going to stop in this contest. At three minutes of round number three, declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm bar, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. All right, so there he is, all smiles, and rightfully so, after he gets the job done by submission tonight. You told me off the air before the fight that he was going to submit him, and that's exactly what happened, man. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. And his opponent is known to lay in the guard. He made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory.